In League of Legends, Vladimir is a champion whose passive ability grants him bonus health from his ability power and ability power from his bonus health. On today's episode of Lawmath, we'll be taking a look at how beneficial both can be based on cost effectiveness and potential damage output. First, let's take a look at exactly how Vladimir's passive ability works. Vladimir's passive ability, Crimson Pact, grants him one ability power for every 40 points of bonus health. It will also grant 1.4 health for every one point of ability power. The two bonuses do not affect each other. Keep in mind, the first bonus only applies to Vladimir's bonus health. Bonus health is classified as maximum health gained from any source other than the 400 base health Vladimir starts with and the 85 health Vladimir gains with each level. To calculate how cost effective this passive ability makes certain items, we'll need to take a look at how much health and ability power cost at the cheapest level. A ruby crystal grants 1 health for every 2.64 gold and an Amplifying Tome grants one ability power for every 21.75 gold. Because of this, since one ability power grants Vladimir 1.4 health, 3.7 gold worth of health is being granted to Vladimir for every one ability power. Also, since 40 health grants Vladimir one ability power, 0.54 gold worth of ability power is being granted to Vladimir for every one point of bonus health. This essentially means if one wants to calculate the true cost effectiveness of an item on Vladimir, they should reduce the item's cost by the ability power times 3.7 and the health grant to times 0.54. Now that we have a formula for cost effectiveness, we'll take a look at how much extra damage Vladimir's abilities will deal based on his health and ability power, then we'll start analyzing how effective certain items can be. Vladimir's transfusion ability will deal additional damage equal to his ability power times 0.6 and will heal him additionally by a value equal to his ability power times 0.25. Vladimir's Sanguine Pool ability will deal additional damage equal to his bonus health times 0.075 per second, and it will also heal him for the damage dealt times 0.125. Vladimir's Tides of Blood ability will deal additional damage equal to his ability power times 0.45. Vladimir's Hemoplague ability will deal additional damage equal to his ability power times 0.7. Now that we know how health and ability power will improve Vladimir's abilities, we can begin analyzing the benefits of both ability power items and health items on Vladimir. We'll start with a simple ability power versus health comparison. A Giant's Belt costs 1,110 gold and grants 430 health. Let's also add a Ruby Crystal, which costs 475 gold and grants 180 health. With Vladimir's passive, the two items also grant 15.25 ability power, which would normally cost 331.69 gold. A needlessly large rod costs 1600 gold and grants 80 ability power. With Vladimir's passive, it will also grant 112 health, which would normally cost 295.68 gold. The cost difference between these two item combinations is very minimal, along with the amount of gold saved from Vladimir's passive. However, we should still take a look at the extra damage the items allow one to deal. In the Giant's Belt and Ruby Crystal example, Vladimir's abilities will deal an extra 9.15, 45.75, 6.86, and 10.68 damage respectively. Note that the extra damage dealt for Sanguine Pool is the amount Vladimir will deal each second. In the Needsley Large Rod example, Vladimir's abilities will deal an extra 48, 8.4, 36, and 56 damage respectively. The question of whether one should buy large amounts of health or ability power when playing Vladimir can be a situational one. However, it's not a choice one is to make quite often, as many items provide both stats. We'll quickly be taking a look at those items now. A Doran's Ring costs 475 gold and grants 15 ability power, 80 health, and 5 mana regeneration. Even though Vladimir can't benefit from the mana regeneration, he will still gain an extra 2 ability power and 21 health from his passive. A Doran's Ring will cause Vladimir's abilities to deal an extra 10.2, 7.58, 7.65, and 11.9 damage respectively. A Haunting Guys costs 1,485 gold and grants 25 ability power, 200 health, and 20 magic penetration. Vladimir's passive will grant him an extra 5 ability power and 35 health. A Haunting Guys will cause Vladimir's abilities to deal an extra 18, 17.63, 13.5, and 21 damage respectively not to mention the potential extra damage against targets from the 20 magic penetration. A Rhyolize Crystal Scepter costs 3,105 gold and grants 80 ability power, 500 health, and a slowing effect. Vladimir's passive will grant him an extra 12.5 ability power and 112 health. A Rhyolize Crystal Scepter will cause Vladimir's abilities to deal an extra 55.5, 45.9, 41.63, and 64.75 damage respectively. In conclusion, the amount of extra damage health items allow one to deal with Vladimir is not enough to warrant a build such as Triple Warmog's Vladimir. In fact, the amount of ability power one would gain from purchasing a Warmog's armor is only three greater than that of an Amplifying Tome. While the ability power granted from buying health-boosting items as Vladimir is helpful, 
one should not expect to do much extra damage from abilities other than Sanguine Pool. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LolMath episode. You can also like LolMath on Facebook at facebook.com slash lolmathyoutube, and follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash trampolinetales. Thanks for watching this episode of LolMath.